Hello everyone, welcome to Junior's Book Club. And today's discussion, we will be talking about Single White Female by John Lute. I purchased this book a couple of days ago and last night I finished reading it. And to my surprise, when I first read about it yesterday, the day before, um, it's very similar to the film, the 1992 single white female. And from the beginning of the book that I read, it's very similar to the movie in the beginning of the book where, um, where Ali had a phone call from Sam's wife. I think her name was Lisa In the book. Her name is Lisa, Sam's wife. And this is when Allison went to to the phone to answer the phone call. And then on there, this is when Lisa was being very rude to Allison. And, and this is when she finds out that Sam was cheating on her behind her back with this woman. And, and this is when, you know, she kicked out Sam out of the apartment. And, you know, she broke up with him. But in the movie, she goes to Grantham, her friend, who was in the story. But to my surprise, in the movie, that's when she went to go, I guess, spend a night with Grantham just to get away from Sam. But in the book, she kicked out Sam personally. In, in this book, she didn't know Grantham yet until later. And, of course, in the few scenes, this is when um, Allison went to do a personal or a classified ad for a roommate and this is when you know Hedra was becoming her roommate already um, before I get into the details of this novel this book is very different from the movie it's very very different in the beginning there were some similar scenes but from there on it's very different from the movie. It's not what I expected. I thought I was going to be very disappointed, but actually, to my surprise, I couldn't put this book down. I kept read it, reading it until I finished. And the part in this novel when Allison was, or Allie, when she, yeah, Allie, she, I'm going to call her Allison. I get, her name is Allie. That's her nickname, but her real, her full name is Allison Jones, but they call her Allie. So I'm going to call her Allison because I'm so used to, I got used to calling her that in the novel. So Allison, she, um, she met Grantham at a restaurant. I don't remember the name exactly, Goyles or something like that. And this is when she met Grantham Knox, her friend in the movie. But that's when he was a waitress. That's when they started talking and becoming friends and, you know, etc. And um, from there on, well, anyways, long story short, she gets the roommate named Hedra Clarkson. And this is when things get a little bit crazier. And she said in a couple of months in this book, this is when Hedra starts... You know, taking her clothes, her earrings, and so she tries to replicate her, her, you know, her her makeup, her jewelry, her clothes, everything. And suddenly, when Allison went to go visit Grantham, this is when they left the restaurant, and then she was fishing through her purse, and this is when she discovered her credit card, her Visa card was missing. And later on, she didn't understand how she loses them, so she had to report it missing. And to her surprise. Um, this is when she reported it to the police. This is when she told Hedra about it. And later on, the police, there was nothing much they could do. So, to her surprise, this is when Sam was in the apartment with Hedra, but Sam forced herself in. And finally, this is when life was getting back together. But little by little, Hedra was having her psychotic episode um, this is when she started, you know, she, she was starting getting crazier. And then this is when she was trying to take Allison's life little by little by, um, by changing the way she looks, her clothes, everything. And then one day Allison went to her, went to Hedra's bedroom when Hedra was working. She went through Hedra's stuff and then found some murder 
newspaper clippings and and she found a blonde wig which matches Allison's hair. Oh, now that I mention a blonde wig, in the book it mentions that Allison was blonde. She didn't have like ginger red hair like in the movie, like a ball cut. She had it like a little bit long. So in this novel she had blonde short long hair. So in the movie she didn't have ginger red bob hair. Um, well, anyways, she found the wig that Hedro had had, and it was the same length of Allison's hairstyle. And it got a little bit more creepier when she went in through the box. Her jewelry was there, and then when she was looking around in the room, she found, she found some replica makeup that she uses. And to her surprise, she was getting very creeped out, noticing that her clothes were in the closet. Some of her replica clothes were there, even her shoes. And this is when she called Sam, and she just she told him that she, that she decided to um, invict Hedra. And from there on, long story short, this is when Hedra had destroyed Allison's life. And took in her identity completely and long story short guys I'm not going to be a spoiler if you haven't read the novel by John Luke like this one right here I suggest and advise you to read it it's really good I was really glued to this novel I thought I was gonna be very disappointed and I'm not personally I cannot make my I cannot make up my mind I don't know I I don't know if the I think the book is a lot better than the movie and yes it's very different from the movie and I cannot make up my mind the book or the movie but personally I like the movie well I haven't seen the movie in years so I got to watch it to verify with the book but personally I like the book better than the movie so I'm not going to be a spoiler I'm not going to explain any more details about the book I'm going to give you my ratings about this book. I give it a 5. It was very mysterious, suspenseful, and really thrilling. So, um, very chilling in a way too. Very creepy. But I suggest y'all read this book. I give it 5. I give it 5 stars. I really like this book. 5 stars or 10 stars. Whatever. But it's a really good book. I suggest y'all read it. I encourage y'all. So, um, that's all for the book review for right now, guys. So, I'm going to cut to the chase. If y'all like seeing my videos, if you like to hear more my book reviews, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And before I close this channel, I have a, a website on my Facebook page called Junior's Book Club. If you want to join me and be a part of the group, I would. it would be really exciting to have some new members. So here's a picture of the website and the link. And I would be so excited to accept you all on my book club. So that would be all for now, guys. So I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you next time on the next book. So bye, everyone.